What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're talking sausage. That's right, sausage on the Blackstone. We're gonna go over a bunch of different kinds of sausage from all over the world, concentrating on Europe and South America. I know there's a bunch that I missed, but I picked out whatever I could get my hands on in the grocery store here locally, but there's a ton that I missed, but we're gonna just go over a handful. I know sausage can get a little complicated and I don't know what's in that. I'm not sure what's in that. How do you cook this? What does it go with? I'm gonna try to break all that down for you and answer some questions. It should be a lot of fun. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. What we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you guys for all the support. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, we're gonna start off with our mild Italian sausage links that we got from Publix. They look beautiful. And next up we have our kielbasa, also from Publix, made by Publix, I should say. And I did not buy all these sausages from Publix, <laughs> but the first three I did. Next up, Bratwurst, also made by Publix. Publix is a very versatile grocery store. They do a great job. Love me some Publix. All right, then we have some Spanish chorizo, Moroccan, Murciana. Man, I butchered that. Okay. And then next up, we have our Argentinian chorizo from Mr. Tango. All right, that's what's next. And then we have some El Latino Murcia from Argentina. Yes. More see ya. You'll find out about that in a minute. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Here's our lineup. Look at all the different colors, the beautiful colors. We're going to make one each of these. We got our Blackstone heated up. And we're going to put down some oil here. I know sausage has fat, but you definitely need a little bit of oil. Those casings will stick. So Blackstone is ready to go. And first up, we have our Italian sausage from Italy, sweet flavored with fennel and garlic. You can also get it hot with a shake or two of chili pepper. That's right, these go great with pasta sauce or in a long bun with onions and peppers for tailgating. Love me some Italian sausage. All right, next up, we have our kielbasa from Poland. It's a Polish word for sausage. It has a coarse texture and has a nice garlic flavor. This goes great as a main dish or in a casserole for soups, stews, sandwiches, and appetizer. It is very versatile. Next up, we have our bratwurst from Germany. It's made from veal, beef, or pork. So often seasoned with nutmeg, ginger, caraway, and sage. Great with sauerkraut and German potato salad. Also as beer brats bathed in beer onions and peppers check out the link above on my video that I did on that so here we go we're gonna start cooking these three first these three sausages are bigger they're fatter they take a little bit longer and real simple here uh, we're just gonna cover these up steam them up make sure the insides are cooked you want to be at 160 degrees internal temperature on these uh, I did not probe these at all. I just kind of went by feel and look. Uh, but you'll know. These take about 20 minutes to cook. Uh, the key here is not too high of a temperature. You do not want to get them burnt on the outside and raw on the inside. So you kind of want to cook them like on a medium to medium low, actually. Well, medium is probably better, but you, again, you don't want to burn these. Um, these go great cooked on a, on a grill over charcoal or even a gas grill, uh, but the Blackstone does a phenomenal job as well. So here we ju we're just trying to get these things like darkened on the outside. We've already cooked them here for quite a while under the, the dome with steam. So now we're trying to get the colors coming through as you can see they are. But these <laughs> sausages have a mind of their own and they like to move around. They do not like to keep still, and I wish there was an invention to kind of like keep them to where you could just kind of keep them perfectly uh, crisp all the way around, but haven't found it yet. So here we go. We steam these up a little bit more with the dome, 
and again just kind of going off look and feel and here's where I get a little bit creative which I like to do at times so this little sucker here on the end did not want to stay it just did not want to stay so I said you know what let me slide over my dome and create a little alley kind of like think about Will Smith in Men in Black where he is in the little oval chair and he can't write on the pencil and nobody else can and he slides the table over to himself that's kind of what I did here I slid the table over to myself and now boom look at that <laughs> we are cooking these dogs not dogs cooking these sausages and making them nice and crispy all the way around so little tip for you here <laughs> just use your damn pan and move it over and kind of squish them in there and it works great at least it did for me all right so we've got these down pat they're looking good we got a nice head start the other three sausages are not nearly as big so uh, I definitely wanted to get a good 10 minute head start on these which we did we slide them over and time for the next step first up we've got our Argentinian chorizo from Argentina made with beef or pork black pepper garlic and red wine these go great as choripanes which means sausage and bread split in half placed on a long roll and served with chimichurri oh my god that sounds delicious next up Spanish chorizo from Spain pork sausage made with garlic and smoked paprika this gives it the beautiful red uh, color very popular in South America served with eggs and potatoes and many breakfast dishes a lot of people know about chorizo and finally we've got morcilla from Argentina aka blood sausage originally from the UK known as black pudding but it's made all over the world it's basically a sausage made from pig's blood and different fillers I eat this with rice I eat this on a baguette you can eat this in many different ways don't get discouraged by the description the flavor is absolutely amazing it is my favorite of these six by far so that's my take on on the uh, morcilla so here we go so for the other three um, these cook a lot quicker uh, but you definitely want to take your time you don't want to cook them on high especially the morcilla the morcilla has got it's uh the 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 morcilla as well as the the spanish chorizo uh, is very it's a very tender filling we'll say okay so you want to make sure not to split the outside because then that filling is going to go all over the place and you're going to have a mess you have you can get the you can get the Spanish chorizo or Mexican chorizo already cured and smoked and it's kind of like a hard and then you just slice it up you don't have to cook it but these are not like that these are pretty much raw and you do have to cook them so again you just don't want to go too high you kind of want to take your time and you can see that red coming out of that uh, that Spanish chorizo it's looking beautiful you don't forget about the other guys over here we're gonna flip these around make sure they're good and that's it they don't take that as long like I said and the morcilla is the one you got really gotta watch because if that stuff starts coming out oozing out that's it it's ready to go so that's it <laughs> it's real simple not a very complicated cook here I just kind of wanted to tell you about the background of these sausages and and now it is time to go check them out and give them a taste here we go Another 
metal dome. <laughs> All right, let's keep it nice and hot. Ooh, it's still hot. Here we go. Check out our sausage. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. I cannot wait to try this, but first we're gonna give you a close up. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that right there. Beautiful. All right. So, from your left to right <laughs> is Italian kielbasa bratwurst Argentinian chorizo, Spanish chorizo, and morcilla from Argentina. Okay, Whew. got that right. All right, so we talked about all the condiments that goes with these and how they're prepared and how they're served with what different dishes and sides and mains and whatever. I'm not doing all that today. I would have plates after plates and mustard and sauerkraut and hot dog rolls and all kinds of stuff we're just going to give it a taste test so we're going to start with the italian probably the most popular for me anyway because i use this all the time when i cook you know pasta and or just italian hot dogs not italian, italian sausage with peppers and onions oh yeah mm. Okay. <laughs> that is a very good start. Who does not like sweet Italian sausage? Oh, phenomenal. Okay, next up, kielbasa. Let's try that one. All right, so far, both of them cook perfectly. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Super delicious, very versatile. Mm, that is amazing. I like that one better than the Italian. Just saying. Next up are brats. Let's try the brat. Here we go. All right, cooked perfectly. Mmm, 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 mmm. A little milder than the first two but still amazing flavor and done with the beer brat, done as a beer brat, oh, it's phenomenal. Uh, next up, we're gonna go to our Argentinian chorizo. One of my favorites, so I already know what this tastes like. Again, perfectly cooked. Mm. Very distinct flavor. You got that Argentinian taste to it. Oh man, it tastes so good. Put that on a long roll with the chimichurri on top of that. Wow, that would taste delicious. Next up is our Spanish chorizo. This is new for me. I've never cooked this, so here we go. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. got that red from that paprika looks good mm. Mm -mm -mm. completely different taste from the Argentinian chorizo it is excellent I like that a lot that's gonna definitely be in some of our future videos that's really good and finally, save the best for last, morcilla, AKA blood sausage. Here we go. Look at that right there. Perfectly cooked. Stayed in the casing. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
All right. <laughs> if you've never had morcilla or black pudding or blood sausage, I know, I get it, but it tastes phenomenal. You have to try this. You can eat it with some rice. You can put it on a, a baguette if you want to, you know, but the, the flavor is just bursting. It's so good. All of these are excellent. They're all completely different from each other. If you haven't tried any of these, I would definitely try because why not expand your taste and your horizons and man, they, <laughs> I'm so glad I did this video. This is cool to be able to taste one after another. Excellent. So guys and gals, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.